Hey guys, welcome. I'm Pashvika. Welcome to the channel where we talk a lot about making money online as a career person, as an artist. Now, it's been a quite a 10 days that I have uploaded a video, guys, because I'm currently in the Malaysia. I came for a visa run for five days and I'm gonna go back tomorrow, back to the Bali, Indonesia. So I didn't get the time to make the videos. So, uh, but still, I thought that it's been a 10 days and I really need to make a video to, to, uh, because I already recorded the screen video, but I just need to record the intro and our intro. So here I am. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to upload the designs or how to transfer the designs from one product to the next. I think I've made a, videos in the past about this particular topic uh, so i'll gonna leave a bunch of the uh, videos and the playlist in the cast section above if you're interested in checking it out but today i'm gonna go more deep dive into that based on what's there currently on the zazzle platform if they update their platform in the future regarding this particular option i'm gonna make an updated video on that but for currently this is the way to actually upload your design or to transfer your design from one product to the next because I've been getting a lot of the questions and comments from you guys on how to quickly transfer the design from one product to the next. So this is the method that I use. Now obviously there could be other method as well. Do let me know in the comment section below if you have any other method or you find it anywhere online space or you want me to cover, let me know. But we're gonna take a look at that. So let's dive into my laptop. Now this is a pre-recorded video I already recorded. So let's dive into that. And also guys, we have a bunch of the free products. The links are in the description box below. I'm carrying my bottle with me right now because I'm gonna go and fill it up and I'm recording the intro with this bottle. But anyways, we have a bunch of the free products. The links are in the description box below. We have the three Zazzle products, the Zazzle ebook that we're going to help you for a little bit about the Zazzle intro based on my experience and knowledge, e knowledge and experience so far. It's a short ebook. Uh, PDF download, the link is in the description box below. The second product we have the Zazzle Workbook Planner. That was the first product that I made for the Zazzle and it's really a, my best seller product. So if you're interested in uh, selling on Zazzle or uh, you're currently selling on the Zazzle and you want to make more money, this is a planner. It's a PDF download that will going to help you, that help me as well. The link is in the description. If you want the step-by-step -step tutorials, in-depth tutorials on how to get started with the Zazzle or how to make more money uploading products, everything in depth and detail, then have a Zazzle beginner's kit. It's a, it's also downloadable. You can download it, you can check these tutorials and you can download the PDF. The link is in the description box below. But these are the three products for the Zazzle. You could also very well grab the Zazzle planner, workbook and uh, the ebook in a bundle because I recently made the bundle. Uh, the bundle is quite cheap if you're buying the product individually you pay more but if you're buying the bundle it's very cheap so you can very well grab the bundle if you're interested in getting all these three products so all the links the bundles and individual product links are in description you can very well check it out but anyways let's dive on and let's see how to actually transfer the design from one product to the next and yeah let's dive in uh, this is a dummy store that I created for the sake of this video <laughs> for the sake of all my videos anyways so we're going to take a look at this particular section where you're just creating the new designs and also actually adding or uh, replacing the same design from one product to the another. Like if you have created one design with one product and you want to shift or transfer that design to one of the products, how we can do that, how we can quickly create new products. Now before that, uh, there was a, a new option on the Zazzle. I think I've made in my couple of the last videos i think previous year or so i don't really remember in which there was a two options when you're creating a product on zazzle that was a create new product option and another option was also there to actually create the products pretty fast it was like creating 20 products at, in just one click that was that option so there was like two options previously on the zazzle for creating the products or creating the designs whatever you call it the first was the create new product option which we are seeing it right now another one was also like creating a product but in that option you were able to actually place your design on 20 different products at one time just one click it was very fast but then the designs that you're creating or the products you're creating may not be that customizable because you're creating you're making uploading just one design you're adding that one design on all the different products like you do on redbubble t public on other print on demand websites where you just take a design so you upload that design and then you select all the different products that are there on that particular platform and you add that design on different products in just one click and then your design would be available on the different products 
That was the option was there previously on the Zazzle, but Zazzle is a little bit different from the print and demand platform because here people come to actually customize or add your designs. They add their own name, logo, picture, text, images. They do a lot of the different options over here before actually buying the designs or products. So it's a little bit different than Redbubble and Teebubble where people just go and buy the products and they don't have the option to actually customize it or added them. Here they have the options. I think that's why because the Zazzle removed the second option where you were able to create in just one click 20 different products. You can place your one design on 20 different products in just one go. That option is not there anymore. It was there before. Currently it's not there. If, if it would be there in the future, I'll gonna make an updated video on that. But for now, there is no that second option. You only got this one option that's to create new product. So I'll just gonna walk you through two of the different ways in which I actually create the product on the Zazzle. Uh, they may not be that fast because we don't have the second option that we used to be having before, but they can actually help you to create the product efficiently. That's what I can say. They may not be that fast than the Redbubble and Teebubble, but it will definitely gonna help you to create the product efficiently. Okay, so let's take a look at the first way. The first is creating a new product. Click over to the option, create new product, okay? Uh, select the product in, for which you want to create the product design. We're going to keep the thing simple for the sake of the video. You can actually complicate it or do whatever you want to do it with your designs with the product that you want to create. We're going to be actually creating, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take an example of the notepad. Simple product. Okay, keep the thing simple. So you can select any one over here. You can select any product, guys. I'm just selecting the notepad. Okay, now click over to the option, customize this design. Now you can upload your own artwork or you can do whatever you would like to do with your, you can upload your own designs, your own images from your My Files option. You can upload it, click over to the upload images and it will going to be uploaded. You can add the text from here. You can add the elements like circle, triangle, rectangle and a line like this or this is for, you can also add the background colors, like you want to add different color to your backgrounds. Uh, you can see the different layers. Since this product has only one layer, that's why you see only the one layer. Okay, so what we're going to be doing over here, uh, we're just going to create the product. So I'm just going to be using something from, okay. We're going to take a color. I'm just going to choose a yellow color, okay. And I'm going to be adding a text over here. The text would be like, uh, the notepad is related to uh, maybe a recipe general or something like that. So I'm going to write with your write in your recipes. Okay, write your recipes. That kind of notepad I'm creating. Of course, you can create the business notepad or name notepad, anything would you like to create over here, okay? Then you can change the fonts if you don't like it. I'm just going to make a little bit changes with the fonts over here. I think this worked pretty best. Uh, and I'm going to decrease the font size. I'm going to keep this range 3. Let's see. Okay, I have to increase it. Maybe 33. Just play around with it, guys. Okay, have fun. Don't be too serious. Don't take it too serious. I think I'm going to change the font again. <laughs> I was thinking I like this one, but then I was like, no, so we're going to change the font anyway. Just play around with the different fonts. I love to play with them because they are really creative and you're being creative. Okay, write your recipe. It's pretty cool, actually. Uh, just click over to the option, make this a template object because we want to help the customer to make it a template object. So I'm just going to add this. You can keep it as an add text in one as well or add. And your text, I mean, you can do play on this. Okay, guys, write your recipes. That's the first option. The second one I can have is like customizable, add your text symbol. I can keep this as a down and I can decrease the size to 23 and I can change the font. Let me see which font I need to pick up over here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this font over here. This looks cool. And you can just change the color of the fonts as well, or you can just play around, guys. 
make this a template object, I have to write edit text as well over here. Wait a second. Okay. One thing guys, I've actually made the two of them. This one is also the edio text and that one is also the edio text. So I'm just gonna make changes over here so that people would know where it was is coming. So I'm gonna write, write your recipes. But why I used question mark over here? That's a <laughs> thing. I don't know. I'll let me just remove the question mark over here because I don't think so that we need a question mark over here. Okay. Okay, keep it simple. Fine. So this is a notepad. Okay, you can select any thumbnail or you can upload your own thumbnail images from college. Just write the title tag description related to the design. So I'm just going to write, write your recipe simple yellow uh, empty goal. I think that's it. Notepad will naturally going to come anyway. Select the right department for your design. Then in the description, you can write anything. I'm just going to keep it simple. Design for food lovers. And that's what I can write. Or you can write anything, guys. And scroll down. You can select the categories. If you feel like this is related to any category. I don't know, so it's actually related to any events or locations. So I'm just going to keep the thing simple. You can select the recipe if it's related to that. You can select the store categories. You can also select the collection from here if you want this product to be added to any collections. If I click over to the option add select, I can create a new collection and I can add them or I, I can add them in the previously made collections. Okay. Now is the time to write the tags. Use the quotes mark to uh, to add multiple different words in one tag. So let, let me quickly write the tags over here. And your recipes. Uh, entity goal recipe note path is your text. Yeah, food lover recipe recipe note path. Okay, I've arrived a bunch of them. Now you can see here I actually missed the double quotes. That's why you see the food lover recipes coming separately. I mean, I can just delete and I can do it again, but I think I'm going to keep it like that only. Since I made the double quotes, I didn't use the double quotes properly. That's why you can see all these are coming as a separate tag over here. I'm going to select a suitable for audience product visibility. Please don't make any changes over here, otherwise your product won't be visible in the marketplace. So keep it public if you see it there is any change make a product a template yes definitely show customize option yes definitely then the royalty percentage ideally i keep the royalty in between uh 8 to 12 or 8 to 11 i just increase decrease a lot so i'm gonna keep it as low as an 8 you can keep it as an 8 9 10 whatever you like to just click the checkbox and post it so this is the one way to actually add the product in your store okay very simple, very straightforward. Now I'm going to show you another method to add product in your store or to transfer the designs from one of your products to the other. Just go over to the product section in your store tab, scroll down. Okay, scroll down and see which of the design you would like to transfer to other product. Now since we have created this product right now and we wanted to transfer this design to some other product. So what are we going to be doing? Product that we have created or that which you want to transfer the design to other product. This is a design that we created recently. This is a product. I'm just gonna click over to the. I'm just gonna click over to the right click over here and go over to the open link in new tab. You can click the, the link in the same tab as well, but I want to keep it separate so that I can manage it well. Now, what you have to do? Just scroll down, and you're gonna see transfer design to a product option over here. Okay. This thing you have to do. Click over to this option. View all products. Click over to this. And then select all the products that you want to add this design to. So I can select, for example, uh, let me see. Let me see what I can select for this particular design because it's related to the right your recipe. So I have to select that card only, but that particular 
uh, product only. So let me select this paper sheet, one product we have selected. Let me select some other product as well. So we can select two products. Or you can select more than two, more than one. It depends on you how many you want to select. I'm just going to go to the page two. So in this way, you can transfer the design from one product to another. And select another product. Let me select. Uh, we're going to select the spiral notebook. Because you can also use a notebook for writing your recipe, right? And you could see your design has been transferred to the notebook. If you want to make any changes to the design, you can click over to the option edit design. You can make changes or you can upload your own thumbnail for this particular product if you want to. If not, if you're satisfied with the design, click over to the option sell it. And then you can make changes over here really in the title. And also, even if you're not making changes in the title, because you see that the title can fit it to your new product as well, please make sure you make changes to the marketplace department because this is the most important thing. This is the your designs we're going to be showcasing in the marketplace on Zazzle. So please make sure you select the right department for your product. So I'm going to be selecting this one because it's related to the recipe books over here. Okay. And you can make changes to the design section or tag section if you would like to. I'm just going to remove this recipe notepad because it's a note, not a notepad over here. I'm going to write recipe notebook. Okay. Scroll down. And simply click over this checkbox and post it. Boom. We have transferred the design from the notepad to the notebook. The another product we prefer is the paper sheet. You can see how this design is actually looking on the paper sheet. You can select any other thumbnail image if you would like to. If you would like to or you want to upload your own, you can add the design from here if you want to. Otherwise, you can click over to the option sell it. You can add at the back as well. The paper sheet has a front and the back options. You can add the design at the back or you can leave it as a blank. I'm going to leave it as a blank. If you want to add, you can click over to select to this particular section and click over to the edit design. If you don't want to add, just click over to the option publish it. And here you can make changes to the title if you feel like. Now here you have to select the right department. Now for the paper sheets, uh, it's a paper sheet. So paper sheet is, depends on which uh, niche or event or occasion you're targeting. It's a recipe card, so I'm going to see which one fits according to it. I think this one is fits to recipe cards. Okay. You can make changes to design for the food lovers. I'm just going to remove the recipe notepad again, this particular tag, because this is not a notepad. So make sure you uh, update your tags according to the products, okay? Or you can keep the generalized tags for all your products where you're not using a specific words or keywords in your products, and you can use the same tags for, for that particular design on all the different products. It depends on you. So I'm going to keep it in a recipe uh, card, okay? Here we are. I think I made the mistake in the recipe card spelling. Just gonna correct it okay here we are scroll down oh, wait a second yeah and you can make changes if you would like to just click and post it so it's been added let's go and check our products so I'm just gonna refresh the products tab and scroll down here you can see that we have transferred the design from notepad to notebook and paper sheet it's that simple and that easy so I've shown you the two methods to actually create products or designs on Zazzle one was the uh, very simple straightforward method is create new product and you create the product but once you have created a product for that particular design and you want that design to be added on multiple different products then you could very well go over to the product which you have already created just right click over to that open link in new tab like this okay and once it's open just scroll down a little bit and you're gonna see transfer design to a, a product option over here then click over to the option view all products and then you're gonna see all the products that are there on the Zazzle on which you can place your design and click those individual products. Make changes to the design if you would like to. If you wanna uh, upload your own thumbnail, you can upload it and you can simply click over to the sell it option and make it post live for sale. So this is the way in which you can transfer the design from one product to the next and this is the way you can do it. Now it's not the fastest way to do that, but this is the efficient way in which you can actually customize your products uh, and you can add one design from one product to multiple.
Hopefully you find this video useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you want more such videos? Any video request, any questions that you have, or any topic that you want me to make an entire video, do let me know, guys, please. Because I'm gonna make an entire video for you guys to help you in your journey to make money with your designs, with your artwork, because it's really important for us to monetize our work so that we can do the things that we love doing as a full time and get paid by the art. So let me know if you have any questions, any queries, but that's it for this video. I'll see you the next time. You can see the little bit different in the background because currently I'm still in Malaysia. Uh, I'm gonna be flying to Indonesia tomorrow. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna be going to Indonesia for six months. So yeah, I have a lot of the content coming for you guys in the March of the in the month of the March and also in the upcoming quarters. I have a lot of the videos, a lot of the content coming up. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos. I'll see you the next time. Till then take care with this bottle. Bye guys.